everybody. So happy Memorial Day. Today I got to see a smaller independent film called The Meddler. And uh, this is a film I heard about, I heard it was really cute. And that's a really good way to describe this movie. It is very, very, very cute. And it won't be to everyone's taste. Some people will think it is too cute uh, and uh, it's too predictable. But I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun with it. By the director, Lorene Scafaria. I think that's how you pronounce it. Sorry if I did it wrong. But anyway, uh, and it is set in LA. Uh, it is starring Susan Sarandon. She is this older woman who has one daughter her husband has died and so she has moved to LA to be closer to her only daughter uh, but unfortunately her daughter feels smothered by her mother and uh, her, she has just recently been going through a breakup and so she is having a hard time dealing with the breakup and dealing with her mother uh, the the daughter is played by Rose Byrne and her mother is kind of bored and she is retired and she has her husband's money but she feels I think kind of guilty about her husband's money and and so she tries to do different things both to keep her interested uh, to keep from being bored but also to kind of help people with this money that she has and so it's not going to waste and so she ends up becoming friends with the with a she ends up becoming friends with a kid in the Apple store and she starts taking him to classes and she becomes friends with one of her daughter Lori's friends uh, who is in a lesbian relationship and wants to have a lesbian wedding and so she agrees to pay for the wedding and uh, it's for somebody she doesn't really know at all and it's not really that good of a friend of her daughter's uh, but she's just you know kind of making friends herself and I kind of liked that I liked that that she was just sort of making friends with all different ages and all different types of people and and it, it felt authentic because I think Sarandon is so good and it's a part that could be super annoying and you might find it annoying but I thought it was charming it seemed like a a semi-believable uh, kind of older woman to me, uh, sort of a, a little bit over or involved a smotherer, but I didn't feel like it was too over the top. There definitely were moments where it was over the top, but I didn't think it went too far. And I, I thought that it had some good jokes, I was laughing, and I, I thought that it was charming. It's just one of those movies that is charming. And I I liked the relationship between Rose Byrne and Susan Sarandon. I felt like it felt like a mother-daughter uh, relationship. Uh, they, they had, I thought, chemistry together. Uh, and it didn't try to kind of go too deep. It, you know, it kept it on a sitcom-y kind of level. So some people might have issues with that. I totally get it if you do. But I just thought the performances were winning enough and it wasn't so over the top like a Greek wedding too, uh, which was so ridiculous. Uh, and uh, and so I, I felt like it, it reined it in enough for me to enjoy it. And she also meets this cop uh, played by J.K. Simmons, who's super funny and charming. And he is a tough guy, but he listens to Dolly Parton and he uh, has chickens that he uh, takes care of and uh, so he's really cute really charming and so yeah that's the word for this movie is charming it's just a sweet little movie I think you, you'll really enjoy uh, and it doesn't really have anything offensive in it uh, it's just about somebody who's trying to find her place and fit in and help her daughter and help all these other people and make friends and it's really similar to last year's I'll see you in my dreams uh, but not quite as sad as that movie is and it has a little bit of a feel of the uh, best exotic marigold hotel movies just those kind of movies about an older people trying to kind of find their spot in life and some you know some kind of cheesy humor but I guess I'm a sucker for those kind of movies so yeah I, I would give it a solid B I, I enjoyed it but you think about the meddler if you get to see it and uh, thanks so much please subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you later bye